Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about continuity and how to check continuity with a digital multimeter for beginners. Starting from now, we're going to make a bunch of series of uh, videos that we're going to go back to the basics and I'm going to show you practical how to use this multimeter because this is a must if you want to build stuff, you have a hobby on electronics and so on. All right, so all this stuff is meters. This one here is a voltage and current meter. This one is a capacity meter. And this one is our digital multimeter. You can see this one in every hobbyist video clips on YouTube, on Google, and so on. Even the color is the same on all this stuff. Uh, this is most common because it is uh, very cheap, easy to use, and affordable. All right, so today we're going to speak about continuity and how to check for continuity with a multimeter like this, similar, yeah? But first, think of continuity as a string of wire, like this, yeah? Continuity means if this string of wire is in one piece, we got continuity. If it's broken anywhere, somewhere, that means we don't have continuity. This is straightforward. So think of as a string of wire. This one, we got continuity from here. This one, we got from here. But if here, let's say it's like so, broken, you see, from this point to this point and to this end, we don't have continuity from here to here. All right. First thing first, you have the multimeter, yeah? Now it's switched off. You have these two probes. This one, the bottom one, is black, so we're gonna connect the multimeter accordingly to the black, meaning positive or ground, and the red one, we're gonna connect it here. All right, on the bottom here, we have a small sign. We're gonna turn our multimeter right in this position. And now, with the probes, we're gonna touch them each other. Can you hear it? Some multimeters have this sound, the other have some LED lights, but it's the same. If you have a value here and you hear the sound, that means we got continuity. So that means we got a string of wire, virtually, from point A to B. Point A to B. Continuity. Okay. This is useful in many cases, even on your car, even in your house, even in electronics. So continuity test is a must for any hobby electrician. Okay. So first thing first, let's say we have this kind of connector, yeah? That I have a video here. I used it in um, building a DIY bench power supply. We have this connection, yeah? We have point A and B. We have two wires and as well two connections. We don't know if this green one is going to here or to here. So for this, we're going to check for continuity. Let's check this one and see. Nope. All right. So now we know that this white wire is connected to this side of this connector. And then connect the other side. You see? So this one is connected to the top, could be the positive, and this one, the white one, is connected to the base outside of it and could be the negative. All right. Another application for the continuity test is regular car bulbs, like this one. If you can see it, the filament is broken, yeah, that's it. But in some cases, the filament is very thin and you barely can see it. So you can check the bulb with a multimeter. You see, we got continuity. That means this bulb is all right. Or could have some other faults, but at least we got continuity from point A to B. Another practical explanation of the continuity is on circuit boards, on transformers especially, like this one here. This one has four connections. We don't know which one goes where, which one goes where. But to test it properly, we have to take it outside the board. But for demonstration purposes only, 
we're going to check to see each pins has continuity. Now we're going to find the primary, the secondary and so on. Nope. There we go. So these two connections here are pairing to have continuity, which means these two should have continuity as well. See? Yeah. Another application for this stuff. In your car, you got a fuse, see, and you all know it, red, green, blue, whatever. With the continuity check, you can put these probes onto the car fuses, and if this stuff beeps, that means the fuse is all right. You can check to the other one, to the other one, and so on. In a electrical socket, but this is not the proper device to use for that. But still, if you have a broken cable, that's it. Continue to test, continue to test, and so on. So there you have it, folks. It was a simple explanation on what continuity test means and how to do it. And hopefully I'm going to see you in the other videos to explain more. So once again, how to check continuity on the multimeter for beginners. You have to think it as a string of wire. This one is intact. We got continuity. This one, no leading nothing. Yeah, we got no continuity. Thanks all for watching, friends. See you next time. In the meanwhile, thumbs up, subscribe and share this video. Bye-bye.